Hello everybody, um, today we're going to get back into our models once again, so let's get back into it, let's get it, um, again we won't be doing them on the weekends, but we will do it on the uh, weekdays, so I want you to check out the channel today because we do have a live upcoming at 4 p.m. with a very special guest that will be helping us um, with this uh, live stream. And, you know, just get your proper precautions if you are down there. As you can see, um, if you are anywhere in Alabama, you're going to be talking about a dangerous squall line or a derecho possibly moving through the area. Now let's get to the current radar. As you can see down the south, we do have some storms. We actually did have some tornado warnings down there in uh, the uh, Jackson area. Uh, that did uh, move off. It's starting to leak in, which is the good thing. Uh, we also have some severe thunderstorm warnings in um, Texas. We also have a brand new severe thunderstorm watch for Texas, and also a brand new uh, a brand new tornado watch for this area so really talking about some activity moving uh, through the area uh, this is the line I mean this is these are the storms that are going to get the activity uh, to start with that line and everything storms will start to fire up out of the Gulf giving some some um, indeed moisture bringing up from the Gulf coming up from the Gulf and then these little tiny tiny cells uh, so we have to watch out for those tiny cells anyone could turn tornadic we also have some very high Kate values um, we have some still in the fourth uh, 4,000 range of juice per kilogram also we have some in localized areas of 500 to 600 I mean not five six hundred um, 5,000 to 6,000 joules per kilogram. So we really have to watch out. Uh, here are some of the temperatures. We have the right temperatures for severe weather uh, for this area. We actually have our cold front uh, that is in the south and in the northeast. As we're going to see some strong storms tomorrow in the northeast. And of course, we have this real strong storms today uh, and tomorrow into the south. We look at current um, rate, uh, the current uh, warnings and watches and uh, all the uh, uh, advice. Advisories. We have flood watches that do remain in effect and a brand new severe thunderstorm watch uh, for the uh, Atlanta metro and Georgia, North Georgia area and for uh, parts of Tennessee. Also for a tiny, um, a tiny county in Alabama, just, just one county in Alabama. This is the new tornado watch that I was talking about. Yes, that is the tornado watch that we do have. We also have this new severe thunderstorm watch that was that is now in um, te uh, Texas because storms will continue to fire up out of the Gulf, like I said, and that will uh, feed into the storms and then that's when we have this huge line that just forms and we really have to watch out for the tornadic cells like I said coming off of the um, Gulf of Mexico. We, this is all the warnings that we have, severe thunderstorm warnings, flash flood warnings, uh, we also have severe weather statements, flood warnings, and tornado watch, uh, we also have a severe thunderstorm watch, flash flood watch, uh, gale warning, red flag warning, and a flood advisory. We also have a small craft advisory, brisk wind advisory, lake wind advisory, frost advisory, rip current statement, and we also have a beach hazard statement, gale watch, and special weather statement that we do have in effect. Now let's get to the uh, um, what we have for the uh, U.S. the SBC forecast made by me. Uh, we have a TSTM uh, for. Um, the east coast and down here we also have this marginal risk where the severe thunderstorm uh, watch is and it covers mainly this area right here uh, so watch out for these storms as they continue to fire up we have an enhanced risk uh, I did spread out the enhanced risk uh, so northern Georgia you are in that so watch out for storms I also put a significant risk for some storms and is really going to be the tornado and the wind threat. We also have a 40% chance of strong wind right here. Uh, and you know what? That that could turn into um, a 15% chance of tornadoes because of our wind shear values uh, and the way, and also our helicity index uh, indexes. 
Let's get to the tornado risk. We do have a 5% chance by the SPC. We also have uh, a significant and a 30% chance. They have added a 40% uh, percent chance. Uh, let's actually see if they did. I don't remember if it was a 40. I think it was a 45%. We're going to go see. 40, uh, let's see if it was a 45%. I just don't remember if it was a 45%. It was 45%. There you go. So it is very much possible. I'm not saying it's likely that a moderate risk could be in stake uh, for these areas. So really watch out for these storms. Now, this is by 4 p.m. Uh, today. You can see we have this line of storms. This is the storms that came from Texas that are just going to strengthen. We also have a line up here in Kentucky and Ohio. Also another line from Arkansas and Missouri. We also have some scattered cells up here in Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Also, some uh, these are the tornadic cells that will start to form for uh, Georgia and Alabama. We get to the next uh, model, I mean not the next model, the next uh, time frame you can see we have a very well defined bow echo. We also, these are the 10 tornadic storms right here. This is about 9 p.m. tomorrow and we also have tiny tiny cells, big cells too. We also have this uh, another uh, clustered cell here but the main threat will be the tornadic cell and the damaging winds. We also have some storms uh, in Florida. It's the next time frame. You can see storms t tend to fizzle out but we're gonna have a trough that moves up from the Gulf of Mexico and that's gonna make storms come back up into the region as you'll see and then they'll come back, then they'll come into Florida, and uh, that's when we could have some severe weather into Thursday and Friday. We also have this area that you really have to watch out for some severe weather. We also have another line that is forming for Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, uh, Indiana, and coming into Ohio. Also, storms in Florida. This is what we're watching out for the northeast. Uh, as you can see, we're going to have this line that does form with the NAM model uh, starting to look more or less impressive. Uh, don't know if we're going to go live, but if this does happen with the WRFNM. Uh, MB model, we do get this line that does form in my area. I will go live on our on my Instagram. We do get a big thunderstorm that does come in at 10, but if that line does form, I will go live tomorrow on my Instagram, so stay on the outlook. Now let's get back to the south. This is what I mean about this trough and how then it dips down and yeah, we get some severe weather into northern Florida. Maybe uh, really with these storms, I'm literally talking about a slight risk, probably. Uh, it is storm could turn tornadic, so I'm just going to say that this is our area for some slight risk. For a slight risk, uh, maybe I should move that. Yeah, I'm going to move that. I'm going to actually do this. This is our area for the slight risk. Uh, possibility. Yes, storms fire up, then we get that line, possible uh, windy conditions, and then we move into marginal, then back to a slight for these windy conditions and tornadic cells. So just watch out, here's the whole entire USA, watch out how this cold front just moves through, uh, and then we have that frontal boundary that does move back up, and uh, that makes the front kind of Go like that. So watch out for these storms if you're anywhere in the USA. We also do have uh, threats for thunderstorms next week uh, back uh, for these areas once again. Um, so watch out. We did have a continuous tornado warning for Springfield. So we could have some more. You can see it just forms once again. So we could have some more storms once again. Everyone have a great day. I know this video is a lot shorter than a few days ago, but I, um, really have to focus about this upcoming live. I have some stuff to do, uh, before this live. So I'm trying to get some stuff done. Also, notice over here, we do get this low, low pressure that does move through, and it's pretty persistent with all these models that it will move this through this area. And we could be talking about from maybe a week or two weeks from now, 
a severe weather outbreak is once again possible for this remaining of the area. We could have right here, this area is possible for another severe weather outbreak, mainly down here. Uh, we're talking about another severe other weather outbreak. Then we move over here. We could be talking about um, just a one severe weather outbreak, not a multiple multi-day severe weather outbreak. But we could be talking about uh, a slight or an enhanced risk is possible within the coming um, next two day, uh, t two weeks. Sorry, two weeks is possible, and then a possible enhanced, a big enhanced area for this area. And yeah. Uh, that's it for today's video, and I hope everyone has a very good day, and stay tuned for our live at 4 p.m. Bye-bye.